This is a metric micrometer. I'm going to show you how, how to read it and how to use it. You can see it measures from 0 to 25 millimeters and its precision, the smallest marked instrument, is one hundredth of a millimeter. First off, you have to make sure that the micrometer is actually you calibrate it to actually make sure that it uh, it is at zero 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 this one isn't when I use this ratchet and it clicks only once the, the zeros don't line up that's why you have this little tool with the micrometer set and there's a little hole there and you can just rotate this barrel there that's pretty close with one click there take a look at just wait for the camera to focus there those zero lines now line up a lot better than previously maybe just half a hair half a hair is a unit of measurement okay uh, that's yeah that's pretty good that's that's deadly yeah take a look uh, how do I do this there the two zero hair lines line up okay the rest of it I'm gonna put it under the uh, elmo this one is the elmo there and if I rotate it there and look it there there we have it it's not gonna roll away uh -huh, there. So this is how you. It's really finicky. Okay, let me just move it just ahead. Okay, there. That's your zero zero zero. You're gonna have, but it only has one zero. So that would be a zero zero. There's your main scale that doesn't roll. It, it's adjustable, but normally in normal operation it doesn't roll. And this is a rotating scale or thimble scale. If you don't like thimble. Uh, just call it a rotating scale and that's a stationary scale or fixed scale on the rotating scale you have numbers from 0 to 49 that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 every 5 you have a number printed but the numbers in between are not printed so 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9 and 50 so this line here is 50 as well as 0. When it is at 0, 0, 0, you have to make sure that the anvil and the spindle close and there's no gap between the two of them. So that would be calibration or uh, make sure that your measurements are correct before you take a measurement and find them out, find them to be out. So. To take a measurement, you're going to have to rotate the rotating scale. How about that for now? This, this reading is one hundredth of a millimeter. The rotating scale rotated one unit. The measurement now is one hundredth of a millimeter. There we have two hundredths of a millimeter, three hundredth, four hundredth, five hundredth, ten hundredth, ten hundredth is the same as one tenth because the extra zeros are not pronounced so uh, this is 0 0.05 but that's 0 0.10 so 0 0.1 one tenth that would be 11 hundredth 12 hundredth 13 14 two tenths of a millimeter you take a look while the rotating scale is being rotated the spindle and the anvil open so now you're looking at two tenths of a millimeter gap between the two of them I'll just move it there and make it sharp there you have it it's hard to focus for the uh, lens on a cylindrical object but you can clearly see a gap there between the anvil and the spindle, the size of that gap is two tenths of a millimeter, and uh, and if I have a yellow sticky, see if I can put the yellow sticky in here. Yeah, yellow 
sticky fits. There's one sheet of paper is about that thick. Okay, back to the numbers. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. There. So that, that would be that would be two tenths there, or 0 0.2, 0 0.21, just a little bit out, maybe less light, 0 0.21, you get the idea, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.49 is there, but 0 0.49, and not reading where, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to lock it there. That would be 0 0.5 or half a millimeter. Do notice that while the rotating thin, uh, the rotating barrel part, I just let me just make it st uh, sharp here. No, doesn't want to get sharp. Okay. Okay. Just give me a sec here. All right. There, that's pretty good there. So, we have a line that appeared on the fixed scale, and that line indicates half a millimeter. If zero is there, that the distance between that line and that line, if you connected them there, that would be half a millimeter offset. These two lines are half a millimeter offset. Okay? And just zoom in and maybe a little more light there you can see it a little better that's your half a millimeter line there okay yeah it's important that you see it well okay next one so this is 0 .0 0.0.5 this is 0 0.51 okay that reading is 0 0.51. I know it's there's some glare on it. I I can't really take it out of the system. Maybe have that this way. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, 0 0.51. That would be 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.55. This is 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 75, 80. This is uh, 0 0.99, and that's one millimeter there. There, 1.00 there. Okay, so that's your half a millimeter line, that's your full millimeter line. And uh, so every half a millimeter line will indicate that you rotated the rotating part around once. So let's see what we've got if I measure, say, the thickness of, uh, I don't know, how about this coin here? Here's some coin, uh, that one, that's a big coin. Well, it appears to be big. There, it is a coin. Let's measure it, I don't know, somewhere there. Just give me a sec, we'll clamp it in. Just like so, let's go. Two clicks. Two clicks is there. Lock it in and take a reading. What do we have here, numbers wise? I'm just gonna make it sharp. That's good. Okay. We are clearly past the first millimeter line and so, so the whole number for the measurement is going to be one point something. We are also seems to be passing that half a millimeter line, but not necessarily. Depending on how your model looks like, I'm just going to memorize that we are at 36 there. Okay, let me just take the coin out. When uh, when you reach one millimeter, this is how it looks like. And the and the half a millimeter line starts showing up there. We are we were at 36. We were here. Sorry, 36 is here. 
the half a millimeter line started showing up but we are really not past that half a millimeter line there. The measurement is 1.36. If we were past the half a millimeter line and then we would read 1.86 but that 1.86 would look like this past the 50 and stop again at 36 there this is how 1.86 looks like okay let's measure something else how about uh, nothing bigger than an inch how about uh, yeah I have this nut here it's rusty let's see and see its thickness. Oops, okay, now. Right, let's do clicks, and there we go. Let's see, what do we have here? First is a whole number. We are clearly, uh, that's 10. Maybe 11, but uh, but I don't think so. We are not really clearly past the 11th millimeter. We're clearly past 10. We're clearly past 10.5. But I know that the 11th millimeter is showing there, but we are not really past the, ele ele the 11th millimeter line clearly. There's no gap. There has to be a little gap between the edge of the rotating scale and the millimeter line, but there isn't. They are just barely touching and probably not even all of the millimeter the 11th millimeter line is exposed so the reading is 10.5 plus change a plus change is coming off for this one that's 0 0.3 0 0.31 how about uh, 31 plus plus another estimated digit can come in here so we have 10.5 plus 3 so that's 10.8 10.81 and an estimated digit there 10.815 how about that the thickness of the nut is 10.815 so now we have three digits in it and the last one is an estimated digit that's, that's okay so that's how these readings can be made with this uh, metric micrometer and uh, you just have to get used to it, that's all.